Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to issue a refund for your customers on Amazon Seller Central. We can't please everyone, and sometimes this comes with a cost. There are times in where we need to make a hard decision and there are also times in where it can't be helped. There are customers who really are right and there are some who just want to take advantage of you. Issuing a refund when you have a business is sometimes necessary. As what Amazon said, all sellers must accept cancellations, returns, refunds, and adjustments in accordance with the policies and any terms, conditions, and policies that appear on the seller's product listing at the time of the applicable order. So, if you need to issue a refund for your customers, we will walk you through it. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. To access the refund page of Amazon, you need to log in first to your Amazon Seller Central account. That's sellercentral.amazon.com. On the Seller Central homepage, hover your mouse to the Order tab, then select Manage Orders on the drop down. Look for the order that you wanted to give a refund on the Seller Fulfilled tabs. Once you have found your order, Click the Refund Order button right next to it. You should reach the Refund Order page. Select the reason for the refund. You can either fill out the Amount to Refund fields if you want to issue a partial refund. You can also check the refund full amount to automatically fill the fields with the whole amount that the customer paid. Though it is optional, you can indicate a note to yourself and to the buyer as well. Once you're all set, click the Submit a Refund button. If you want to issue a full refund and you authorize a return request, you can wait until you receive the item back from the buyer before you issue a refund. If the buyer returns the item to you damaged, or in a condition that is different from the condition in which you send it, you have the option to issue a partial refund. If you decide to issue a partial refund, we recommend that you explain this to the buyer in advance to help avoid misunderstanding and unwanted claims. So there you have it. That is how you issue a refund for your customers on Amazon Seller Central. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!